hello all my glam dolls and glam gents I am coming to you with a tutorial on how to do an extended ponytail with super super short hair okay so for the things you need for this particular style of course you need hair if you don't have a lot like I don't um, that's fine I'm actually show you how to work with that but you need some um, extension hair a piece of braiding here it doesn't have to be a lot um, maybe about two inches in width and you can make that as long as you want you need some like I said the extension hair um, the length is up to you I actually use 8 inch hair and I think I had a 18 inch 16 or 18 inch uh, piece of hair left over all the hair I'm using is leftover scrap hair uh, from previous clients of mine and you need some 30 second glue some push pins um, a little gel and that's about it so what I began doing was I added the glue to my weft and I began wrapping the hair um, I've seen it done a lot of times where the girls are actually taking the hair and pulling it around the actual braid but I found it easier to actually roll it right on top of each other well not actually on top of each other roll it right above where the last track lay and I found that this way is a lot faster to actually finish the ponytail um, later in the video you'll see why if you have very short hair that I do not recommend that you roll like I did um, if your hair was a lot longer then that would per be perfectly fine but if your hair is short you will see why later in the video why you do not roll the hair around the braid and just a little FYI this video is actually sped up a little bit just for time's sake this total process of me doing this extended ponytail it took me I'll say about a good 40 minutes to do my entire head um, it took about 10 or 15 minutes under the dryer to actually mold my hair down and dry because my hair is so short it took no time at all but the total style took me about 40 minutes I would say at the most So here I'm actually finishing up that long, the longest piece of extension hair that I had. And I'm actually just pressing everything in right at the top to secure it. And when I start in with my 8 inch tracks in a few minutes, you will see I go right above it and just continue rolling as I have been previously doing. Okay, here I was just showing you that I took my glue and I ran it down as far as I could actually reach it without having difficulty wrapping.
Okay, in a few minutes, as I stated earlier, you'll see why I did not suggest that you use this rolling method when um, going up your braided extension. <laughs> okay, see right here, because my hair is super short and it's going back from a shortcut, I barely got a ponytail. But here, I'm going just to um, reattach it using, I think, three rubber bands just to reinforce it. Uh, I'm really not worrying about it being very secure right now um, because when I get ready to do the part where I'm wrapping, I'll actually be using um, push pins, so that'll actually give me more security. So right now, I'm just taking the three rubber bands. I made a loop between the top of the braid where it slipped out, and I pulled my hair through, and I just added three rubber bands, two or three rubber bands, and I just put it on as if I were just grabbing a piece of hair, and I left it like that, being very careful. What ended up happening was, as I was wrapping the actual braid, I was actually twisting the hair. And me not thinking, because my hair is short, it actually twisted right on off. So I'm actually glad this part happened so you actually can see it and you'll know how to fix it if it happens to you. Okay, so right here, I'm just finishing off that last piece of that 8-inch track, and I'm going to continue on up with another set of 8-inch tracks. Um, with the scrap hair, it was not even a full one pack of hair that I used. So, depending on how full you want your ponytail, how long you want it, that depends on how much hair you use. But I did not even use a full pack of hair to do this ponytail. And this was scrap hair that I used, so... Um, probably about two arms length of each one besides that uh, 16 or 18 inch that's all the hair that I used and again a little FYI um, doing this using the extension hair you do not have to use straight hair I eventually curled my ponytail and you'll see that in the end of my video but I wore it straight for like the first day or two just like that but you can use curly track hair of your choice to do this ponytail as well and if you can see right there I am not rolling my tracks anymore around my braid I'm actually wrapping as I should have done in the beginning but like I said I'm glad that happened so you all would not have to fix it if it happened to you Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish wrapping this as far as I need to before I begin wrapping around the actual braid. And then I'll come back and show you how I finish that up. Okay, and right here, if you are familiar with adding extension hair for a ponytail um, as it's normally done, this is exactly what I'm doing here. I didn't cut any tracks off or anything. I just continued wrapping, not using any glue at this point. At this point, I'm no longer using the glue. So once you finish gluing to that point where you know you'll start wrapping, glue will not be used. So, um... Every few times I wrapped it, I've just placed a push pin to secure it. And I just did that until I finished the ponytail off. And you'll see more in a second. And here, as you can see, I was just a little unprepared. I had to get my push pins out of the box that I had on the floor. So... Every now and then, if you, you'll see me reaching down to get the push pins. I actually didn't show it just now close up 
of course because I'm actually recording this myself but when you're actually sticking the push pin in you're gonna push it on an angle and you're gonna scoop that second part of that push pin just push it in a scooping motion that way it'll grasp that track hair extension and secure it in place And if you can see in my ponytail, you will see where you see a lot of the short parts where it ends on my ponytail. That's because I use the 8 inch hair. If you do not want any layered look in your ponytail, I suggest you use 10 to 12 inches um, in your hair extension so you won't have that layered look. If that's not what you're aiming for. And I would say overall after I finish my ponytail using I think the 16 inch hair at the bottom and the 8 inch at the top all together I had about a 30 inch ponytail right here I'm just adding more pins around the ponytail to secure it but the actual track here is completed wrapping so in a second what I'll be doing is grabbing a piece of hair just from the bottom part of that ponytail a very small thin piece and just for it to have a smooth look I'll take a just a drop of gel on my fingers and I'll actually smooth it through that strand of hair and I'll wrap that around the hair the base of the hair so that it conceals that weft where you can't see it and I'll actually put in another push pin and you'll probably see um well you didn't see it but I actually took a, dull, a little dab of glue at the end of that and just mashed it into that so it'll stay even more secure I don't have to worry about it coming loose and as you just saw, my ponytail is very long. It is about 30 inches. I call it my little booty tail because it comes past my butt. So, um, if you're not looking to have a ponytail that long, I suggest you don't do your braid that long and don't use track extension hair that is over 10 to 12 inches. And what I'm doing right here is I'm just taking the comb, and you want to use a fine tooth comb to do this, not a wide tooth. And I'm just taking the comb, running it through the braid hair, combing out any tangles and any glue that got on the hair itself when I was actually wrapping the hair. So I'll be just um, taking the comb and combing that out, getting the ponytail pretty straight. And um, you guys, that's pretty much it until I get ready to curl it. Okay, here's the part where I didn't show. Um, like I said, I took a drop of hair glue and I actually secured that just to the base that just on the corner of. You don't want to put a lot because you are very close to your natural hair. And I just put another push pin on top of that. Extra security is not going to go anywhere. And voila. So like I was explaining earlier, you take a small section of the hair just from under the ponytail apply a little gel as I did and you're actually going to wrap it around the base of that ponytail to conceal where the extensions were actually placed and this may take you a few times um, to get it right it's just all about grabbing that piece of hair and wrapping it but um, you'll get the hang of it it's not that hard
So yeah, my ponytail is finished and here are my results. So here I'm just going to flat iron it, make it a little more smoother. And that's it you guys, that's the ponytail. Um, I actually had my hair tied down for a day and a half um, because I didn't go anywhere. So I didn't curl it, but I did like the straight look. Uh, and I would wear it straight. But um, yeah, this is the finished ponytail without it being curled. And I will come back and show you the results with it curled once I have my makeup done. Um, of course, I'll leave my social media and stuff where you guys will be able to contact me through that. Um, I am a licensed hairstylist, makeup artist, nail technician, and photographer. So, if you all are in my area one day or anytime soon, then you could actually, you know, drop in or go on my website. Okay, and schedule so I decided to show you all how I curled my ponytail. Um, I already did half of it. I just came in with the ending part of it because it's the same thing i just started at the top and worked my way down grabbing sections of hair from the front the back and the sides and just curling with the flat iron and that's pretty much it but like i said if you are um someone that does not like curling their hair or don't know how to curl hair and you just don't know how you'll make it with a ponytail like this you can opt out of curling and just get some already pre-curled extension hair So, yep, like as I said, if you're not someone who likes to curl hair or don't have time to curl it, then I would suggest you buying the pre-curl extension hair to finish your ponytail look. It's a very easy, you know, quick style, very low maintenance. You really don't have to do much to it besides tie it up. And if you do happen to have straight hair and you have to end up curling it, um, if for some reason you feel that your curls will drop overnight, then you can actually flex your rod your ponytail and you have the same results. So once you get up in the morning, all you just pull your flex your rods out, run your fingers through it, and voila. Okay, you guys, so here's my final look on my ponytail, installed, curled, makeup done, everything done. You know, I hope you guys love the video. I hope you learned anything. Any questions, comments, please leave them below. Until then, you guys, rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.